Uh, all right, well, one more email this week. This is from Joseph, and he says, Love the show, listen every week. I'm 27 and work a boring office job. Oh, no. And listening to you guys during the day makes time go faster. Nice. I just purchased the PS4 God of War bundle. This is my first PlayStation ever. I've had Xbox Live for 12 years. I know that world well. However, now I'm in Uncharted territory. Nah. <laughs> and I feel overwhelmed and want to experience Ooh. the core PlayStation games. For Xbox, this would be games like Halo, Gears of War, Fable, and Forza. Mm. What are the absolute core games I need to play to feel like I understand the PlayStation platform? I had to do this once when I bought my first PlayStation 2, like so way late into the game. Mm. When you bought your PlayStation 2? I played 2? Metal Gear Solid 4 and Uncharted 1, which are like wasn't great. Oh, no, no. That three, was you mean. For 3, yeah. yeah. Three. Yeah. So back then you were like you checking out Metal Gear and Uncharted. But now there's better versions of both those games, so it's totally worth doing. <laughs> That's true. That's actually true. You got to get Uncharted. Uncharted. So do you think uh, the bundle, the trilogy, or just go with four? Well, I, it's tough. Why not both? We were just talking about well, this. Well, yeah, on. I just know if you what to play first. <laughs> well, so the tricky thing is Uncharted 1 is the worst Uncharted game, but they are, but you still know. still not a bad game. No, 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 but I'm just saying, like, they directly, like, you can't start with 4. You just can't. Like, they directly like, feed into one yeah, another. It's so. true. Yeah, I'd say, like, 4 is definitely the best experience, play, but play one those first. games, more than maybe other video game series, yeah. Are closely tied together, and they build. They're like character payoffs that you get a four mm-hmm. that you and won't yeah appreciate unless you've played all of them. So blast through one with the understanding that it's like a seven point five or an eight, whereas the rest of the games are you know nines and tens in mm-hmm. my opinion. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, Last of Us remastered. Mm-hmm. Yeah, PS4. Like we were saying earlier, that's uh, the PlayStation community absolutely loves that game. Get you some knack. If you really want that PlayStation experience. He's only 27. Well, okay. He doesn't have a kid that he's going to play Knack through with. Well, I mean, I bought it mostly because like, I needed a game I on launch day. I should hey, this is Knack. It's 27 And then there's the whole, like that game company uh, games. Journey. Through Journey. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Those Flower. Are, what about Loco Roco? You got to play Loco Roco. Mm. Yeah. You do. I was going to say uh, Persona 5. Yeah. PlayStation exclusive. Greatest JRPG of all time. JRPG. I don't know if he should play Patapon or not. I'm trying to think of the uh, most PlayStation. definitely <laughs> play Horizon Zero Dawn. Danganronpa? That, that's Danganronpa. <laughs> no, he's got to play Horizon Zero Dawn, right? That's uh, yes. the yes. big exclusive from last year. Open world, dinosaur, robots. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then Shadow of the Colossus. Oh, just yeah. re-released on PS4. Luminous? PlayStation Classic. Well, that's, wait that's for that one. That one's on everything coming everything back. Too, on but coming cool. out and everything. Um, it's not my taste, but I would say, you know, Bloodborne. I was going to say, yeah. Mm. No, people love Bloodborne. It doesn't really click with me, but people love Bloodborne. Well, the interesting thing about yeah. Bloodborne, I don't know if this is just localized to our office, but I've talked before about how esteem for, like, a game like Red Dead Redemption has climbed over time. Like, yeah. Bloodborne came out strong. Like, everyone's like, this is great. This is the best Souls game. And I feel like as time has gone on, its reputation has only grown and grown, and people seem to kind of be enjoying it and appreciating it more and more, which is interesting to see. Like, it's now pretty commonly, widely considered the best Souls-like game there is. Yeah, that's that's really true. Man, I need to play it. Did you play it? No. no <laughs> did you play it? I did. What did you think? Uh, it's not really my type of game, but it's <laughs> so, also a game that I can super appreciate. Do any of the Souls games... I keep trying. I'm waiting for yeah, them that's to click. Too. Yeah. <laughs> each new, I try each one, and I'm still like, nope, still not for me. You're not trying enough. Yeah, you got to keep trying. Not hard enough. Not that's why I played uh, getting over it with Bennett Foddy for like five or ten minutes, and I'm like, life is too short for me to <laughs> for me to put more time into this one. I appreciate I appreciate it from afar. With Detroit coming out, do you need to play like Heavy Rain? I don't think so. And I really loved Heavy Rain. Really? I yeah. loved, and what was the other one? Beyond Two Souls. I loved Beyond Two Souls. Wow. I feel like I'm the only person on earth that really adored that game. <laughs> and those were PlayStation exclusives. Yeah. So. Yeah, those are exclusives. Uh, yeah, I don't care for those games, though. Uh, and t- but to cover off on the racing uh, series, I guess he's got to play one of the Gran Turismos. I don't mm-hmm. know what the best one or most, most recent one is. Good Didn't question. one come out last year? Yeah, and then there's the spinoff, the GT Sport. Sport, Sport came yeah. out last year. That so Sport, I haven't been following it. It had a shaky launch because it had a bunch of online-only stuff and you know it was kind of light on game modes. But then I think that they fixed some of that over time. Like it, they, they Ubisoft it, as we call it now, <laughs> mm-hmm. and stuck with the game and sort of cleaned it up. But I don't, I don't, I don't know. I haven't been paying what about your Ratchet and Clanks and Sly Coopers? Oh, yeah, See, most but, recent Ratchet and Clanks, really good. But it's also hard to know, like, I don't know where, like, is Sly Cooper Trilogy on PS4? There's a well, nice Sly Cooper on PS4, but oh, I can't remember what Are it you is. sure they're not on PS3? Because, oh, like, a lot of those like got remastered PS3. for PS3, and I'm like, I don't even know if they made their way over yeah. now. But maybe they did. I just, I just don't know. Yeah. Same with the original Ratchet Trilogy. 
There's a new Ratchet and Clank on PS4. And then even Very though good. Metal Gear Solid 5 was on multiple platforms, none of the other Metal Gear Solids were, right? That's true. Uh, Metal Gear has a long history the on, on the PlayStation. Yeah, one came to GameCube. <laughs> That's true. Twin Snakes. And then two and three, well, three was on DS. No. That's a yeah, it is. I have it. It's great. Yeah, me too. And I bought. Uh, uh, you have totally to have the uh, the, the thumb nub. Not about yep, that. The nub. Well, totally actually, now you that. can buy the 3ds Lite or Plus or whatever with that has it built in. And oh. it works with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is really nice. Fantastic. That's the only way. I've, well, no, I did play that on PlayStation a little bit back in the day. Yeah. Wow. But it's fun to play on the 3ds. Yeah. Well, it's an exciting time, Joseph, to be just getting into PlayStation right now. Yeah, I'm very jealous. Years. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. That's just a small taste of the discussion on this week's episode of GameScoop. For the full episode, head over to youtube.com slash GameScoop and be sure to subscribe.